All right, I think this is the best focus that I can get for tonight. Hey, what is up, everyone? This is Mike. I'm coming to you from Samurai Geek Designs. Uh, we are located in San Antonio, Texas, uh, at 2003 South Zarza Motor Street, suite number 3104. Uh, ooh. Uh, anyway, uh, sorry, I just got a got a message from somebody who needs some help with a uh, with a with the Star Trek model of all things. Anyway, uh, what I've got here are the uh, the, the victory of my la latest battle. Uh, anyway, uh, this is a Black Series uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is one of the original pressings. I did a video uh, a couple of weeks ago about basically... Uh, my my little indulgence uh, for myself uh, is is working on on the uh, Black Series action figures. I I started collecting them because I'm a diehard Star Wars fan, and uh, uh, I I started buying them with the sole idea that I was going to start repainting the faces because I knew that there was a really good sculpt under there. Uh, you just had to bring it out with a with a good layer of paint. So um, my uh, my focus is not that great on these little guys right here. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna do my best and kind of get a little close on what I've done to these guys. Uh, so yes, yeah, so th this one, uh, as many of you guys know, uh, this figure, uh, one of the original releases from the Black Series. And for me, uh, Anakin and Obi-Wan were my first Black Series figures. Um, so, so, oh gosh, come on, focus. So, uh, so I, I mean, uh, I've had mine for, for quite a while already, and uh, they, they, they seem to get attention every once in a while. Uh, especially whenever I take them out to one of the toy shows here in San Antonio. Uh, People think that the the heads are, are a third party head, but I kid you not, that's what's underneath that that terrible uh, Barbie doll uh, face that 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 you got right out of the package. But from under, what I understand, uh, this figure is soon to be repopped again as one of the archive wave, or maybe it's a brand new figure. I'm not sure, but. From time to time, I get to do one of these guys, and and I'm a I'm a big Ewan McGregor fan. Excuse me, Ewan McGregor fan anyway. So uh, getting to 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 do an Obi Wan figure is always a bit of a joy, and I don't get to do the Padawan, the 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 Attack of the Clones very often, uh, because those are already pretty good figures on their own, but. This Obi-Wan figure seems to come back every once in a while, and I'm always happy to do one of these figures, but uh, anyway, you guys, let me get on to this guy. This is, I, I think this is a recast of one of the Marvel Legends uh, Netflix Daredevil uh, heads. I, I, from what I understand, uh, Kevin thought he was getting a different sculpt. Uh, than what this is, but but regardless, uh, he just went ahead and brought it over to me. I might add a bit of a five o'clock shadow uh, to this guy, uh, just to just to bring out the detail, just to add a little more life to it. But my my lighting is really really bad, and things are getting really really dark fast. And in, in well here anyway. But let me see if I can get that the uh, the lenses on Daredevil's eyes. Let me straighten them out here. I'm on a little clay peg uh, base. Uh, but uh, the eyes are actually a darker blood red color, and then just kind of glossed over with uh, with some future. Uh, the teeth I didn't want to go too contrasty, stark white uh, with the teeth, especially at this scale. So. Uh, I wanted to keep it a little muted. Uh, kind of the same thing that I do with, with, with the eyeballs. Um, uh, the eye... Oh, come on. There we go. That, oh, wow. That might actually be better than what I've been doing this whole time. Uh, so, uh, basically, basically at this scale, uh, I, I'm not putting, putting a high contrast white 
uh, for the whites of the eyes or even even the teeth. Uh, at this scale, I'm just kind of doing a lighter version of the skin tone, and uh, that just kind of brings everything together. Uh, especially because I mean, I I I've, I've tried it, I've done it, I've seen it on others on other stuff, but pure white is just too much uh, for for this size of a figure. Uh, any. Anything larger than than twelve scale, I would say, just go for it. Uh, use white if you want to get that high contrast in the eyes. Uh, but at this scale, it's really not necessary. And uh, take my word for it. I mean, you can kind of you you can kind of see that from this distance. Um, they're a little more. Uh, I guess. I don't know. I I don't know. Anyway, anyway, guys, I'm kind of rambling at this point, but. Uh, I did want to say, uh, if you like what you see, uh, feel free to hit like, leave a comment, subscribe, and if you are uh, just so compelled to, hit the bell just to get a little notification whenever I do post a video. Uh, Samurai Geek Designs, we do exist as a, a custom art studio. Uh, we do work for a lot of people all around the country. We do work for people out of the country. This Obi-Wan figure, uh, figurehead is going back out to the UK. And uh, this uh, Daredevil figurehead is going all the way out to the east side of San Antonio. Uh, so anyway, um, we do work for, for lots of people. We do, we do work uh, not, I mean... You don't have to be in San Antonio, and you don't have to pay a visit to our shops uh, personally. Uh, just feel free to send me an email. Uh, you can reach us through Facebook at our business page. You can find us on Instagram. Uh, search uh, both platforms for Samurai Geek Designs, and you can find us uh, just as easy. Uh, but um, feel free to send us a message if you have a question on something. You don't. Uh, we don't commit you to uh, to a purchase. Uh, if you're not ready, but uh, you probably do have to send your item to us uh, to to have it worked on. Uh, we do handle the sh shipping and handling, uh, and that means if we're if we're doing a model for you, we're going to make a really sturdy, heavy duty box that's going to reinforce the model inside so that the uh, the guys over at the post office cannot break your 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 stuff. So. Um, Action figures, uh, big big play sets and stuff like that. I mean, if you can send it to us in the original box, it helps. Uh, but we can usually get things back to you safe and sound. Uh, one time we had an, we had an incident, uh, but uh, it is what it is, guys. Uh, but we, we have learned from that lesson. Uh, and we do what we can to get your item back to you in, in, in as uh, perfect as condition as it leaves uh, us here because it, we do take a lot of pride in the work that we do. Uh, the Bat Tumbler should be arriving to Timothy uh, on Friday. Uh, we sent out another Batmobile before that. Uh, before that, we sent out a Millennium Falcon. Uh, a few other items have gone out, a few action figures and a few Hulkbusters uh, here and there, but... Any and all, we are we are always welcome to at least give you our thoughts on something if you have a, have an idea for a project. But uh, you guys take care, peace out, and uh, have fun out there. Thanks.